So after update 35, I made a video on SJB's two tower chimps challenge and that got me thinking, what is the strongest 2TC combo? And by that I don't mean the cheapest or the easiest, but I mean which two tower combo can get the farthest on chimps mode. We're looking not just to beat chimps using two towers, but to go past round 100 into chimps free play and find the best 2TC in the game. Stick around. The Two Tower Chimps Challenge, or 2TC, has been around for a long time and is to this day a very popular challenge that is played every day and with new updates comes new variations on the challenge. There is also an achievement for completing this in the game. To be able to finish a game of chimps with just two towers, there are a few things that you have to consider when choosing those towers. First of all, you have to be able to counter all immunities. You need to be able to pop lead, camo and purple, and combinations of them like camo lead and camo purples. So you need at least one tower that has both lead and purple and camo popping power, or alternatively a tower that can remove camo properties from the balloons. Examples of this would be the bottom path wizard, or the tier 5 top path wizard, the top path Ice Monkey, middle path Engineer, middle path Ninja, bottom path Mortar, or the top path Sub to name a few. In addition to all the immunities, you also need to have at least one of the two towers cost 650 or less, so that you can purchase the tower at the start of the game. You will also need to have a lot of single target damage to take care of bads, and also have a lot of peers to take care of the rounds that has really dense groups of balloons and moabs. So there are a lot of things that has to be right in order to get far in this challenge. The first 2TC we are testing here is the MAD, and we tried this one together with the Ultra Boost in SJB's challenge, but the fortified ceramics were a big weakness to the MAD. And by the way, we were right about the top path wizard being a possible solution to SJB's challenge, although we did not have the right tower placements for it to work. And ISAB also showed it being done with the middle path wizard. I decided to try the mat again with an energizer this time, because on this map I thought that maybe the energizer can take care of the ceramics while also giving a shorter cooldown time to the mad Gorgon Storm ability. But unfortunately we never got to the mad, but got stuck on the rocket storm, and reason being once again the fortified balloons. The energizer is crossed path with the bad middle path cross path, also known as the angry sub, that doesn't increase the damage, because we needed the lead popping power of the middle path in the early game, and thus this combo lost on round 82. Next up, we're trying the bottom path ace, the flying fortress, which we will cross path with the top path, which is the good one, and the 520 energizer is very useful, even though it is not the best cross path, it is very useful for the 2TC, due to the fact that it can pop lead, purple, camo, and it doesn't just pop camo, it removes it. On top of this, the starting tower costs less than 650, so it can be used as a starting tower, so it's a very nice tower for this challenge. For this 2TC, to be able to get past some of the tougher rounds, the placement and the flying pattern will matter. Placing the ace as done here and using the figure infinite flying pattern, the ace will often shoot in a straight line along the longest path on the map. Despite this, you may still need some retries on some of the closer rounds. Once you get the Flying Fortress, you have some really nice popping power for a while, but you will run into a brick wall at round 112 when the fortified DDTs completely run you over. Next up is a combo that many think is one of the easiest ones, and many YouTubers have made videos about this one, and that is using the Ray of Doom together with the Prince of Darkness. This is a combo that makes the achievement very easy and requires little to no micro. Once you afford the Ray of Doom, it cuts through everything. It can pop every type of balloon, it has near infinite pierce and also has a good amount of damage. And Resort, of course, is a crazy good map for this tower. Together, they made it to around 129 before losing to fortified Zed OMGs. This one was pretty close, so maybe you can beat this round with some better micro and ray placement. Our next contenders are Sada and the Anti-Bloom. 
In update 35, just recently, the anti-bloom got a big buff and the damage of the ability got doubled, and so did the crit. So this combo was one that needed testing, and this one was pretty fun to do to be honest. You have three abilities that you need to time pretty well and very often to get past the tougher rounds in free play. And this duo made it a lot further than I anticipated. The new ability damage annihilates strong mob class balloons, and Sada's sword charge ability, where she glides across the track, is very good against fortified rams and can be used right before the rams are about to reach the range of the anti balloon on the last lap around the track. A fantastic duo. On round 104, we'll start the round by upgrading Sada from level 17 to 19, and then to level 20 as soon as we can afford it mid-round and right after use the sword charge ability to pass this tough round. Round 119 was pretty fun. Just a few attempts was enough to pass it, which is fun, you know. These two towers requires you to often stop and think about the ability usage, but usually you can figure it out in just a few tries, you won't get stuck for half an hour. This combo reached a dead end on round 138 with a lot of fortified DDTs, and it was not close at all, so no reason trying very long to beat this round. The next combo is the best one I could find and was tipped to me by one of my viewers, the Ray of Doom and the Ultra Boost. Now, this is technically not a 2TC combo because you can't afford the ultra boost before round 100 when doing this combo, and thus this does not qualify as a solution to the last 2TC video where we tried to beat the challenge using the ultra boost and one of our other towers. But for our purposes, of course it counts. We get the overclock and constantly use it on the plasma accelerator. Since it's a tier 4, we have 100% uptime. On some rounds, like 86, you will need to micro the dart link pretty well as the fortified rams are a bit of an issue. On round 87, we can buy the Ray of Doom mid-round, and from here it's very easy. On round 106, we buy the Ultra Boost and start giving the Ray of Doom some stacks. Mostly, you don't need to micro it once you get to this part. And the placement of the dart link seems to matter a lot. You want to place it as far back as possible to get all of the length that you can on the last lap through the track. This will cause the sunshade thingies to block your side a bit when you're trying to micro, but you'll be able to micro those rounds anyway. But there are one or two rounds that you really need the dart link to be placed all the way back for. I did this combo like two or three times and realized the issue the hard way. This combo eventually fails at round 140. I managed to pop the fortified bad, but not the insides. Now, what do you think? Is there any combo in the game that follows the 2TC rules that can make it past round 140? I would be happily surprised if there was, but personally, I doubt it. Let me know if there are any other combos that are really strong 2TC contenders. But for now, I think the Ray of Doom and the Ultra Boost holds the title. Subscribe for more Chimps videos and leave a like if you enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time.